TV personality, Drea Michelle, um, she has two children with former um, NFL star mm -hmm. Orlando Scandrick, mm -hmm. uh, but now reportedly, allegedly expecting a child with a 21-year-old huh? Houston Rockets player, Jalen yep. Green. Jalen Green. And she's getting a lot of backlash for it. Of, and Joe Budden should. called her a predator. As she should. So she, I think she's around age 49. What was it? 39. 39. 39. She's 39. Jalen Green of the Houston Rockets on, bro. is 21. You, you, like, that's, that's and, straight. You, sh you give it. Sh go ahead. Continue. Yeah, Joe Budden. So Joe Budden. If I go ham. Um, let me see if I have the sound Haitian Lover sent out earlier. Yeah, go ahead. Joe Budden um, outright said that's predator behavior. Pre what? I'm not we don't know anything. So, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, this is a dizzy. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is dizzy. Everyone's talking about it mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, what do you think about all of it? What's his contract? Oh, she asked, what's his contract? I, I'm asking for... In a few years, he'll be making 300 million. No, he's not. He'll, he's going to max out. He's going to be one of the max guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, in no way, shape, or form, do you guys think that he has any choice in who he dates, who he fucks? And cool, if you want to fuck a 21-year-old goof, now you got a baby by a 21-year-old, you are a predator. And I said this last year, yo. Yeah, so... But, um, but, Joe, Joe Budden did young girls all the time. Joe Budden did young girls all the time. That's that double standard. I feel like this is so double standard. Okay. I'm tired of men. Men is allowed. There is men that wait for a girl mm -hmm. turn 18 to date them. Mm -hmm. There's men, by the time you turn 25... They don't want to date you. They think you're too old. Okay. A lot of men date a, a younger women. A lot. Okay. A lot of men be looking at younger women. Like I was telling Kev before, my prom dress, when I was 16, mm -hmm. a 40-year-old bought it for me for $800 at my church. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he was a predator, yeah. too. He was a predator. But I'm saying, like, I'm a saying it's a double standard. No, it's not. Those, Those guys, guys are can predators. I talk? predators. Can I, but can I talk? Those guys yeah. are predators. I'm saying there is a double, like it or not, there is a double standard when it comes to men and women. Mm -hmm. And who should date who? It's okay for men to date younger women. That's some men be in their 40s, 50s, uh -huh. and they're dating a 21 year old. Uh -huh. Married a 21 year old. Yeah. Perfectly fine. But as soon as a woman do it, oh, uh, you know, she's a cool girl. Uh -huh. she, she's a, pre a, pre a predator. 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 She's, uh, but it's yeah. like men do it all the time. If men date yeah. younger women, uh -huh. why can women date younger men? It's, it's not, it's it's not fine. When, when, no, it's not even a difference. Right. It's not fine when men do it. It's not cool. When, right? if a man, but men do it is, all the time. If a and man they don't dates get, a 21-year-old, it's not fine. But they don't get no backlash. They don't get no Not like women do. They do. Man, I'm gonna tell you crazy. something. Don't know have a baby with a basketball player. She was 29 years old, uh -huh. which is pretty young. Uh -huh. And then she, he was at 22. No, he was like no. 18. He was, he was still like, in college. He was like 18, uh -huh. still he was in college. Still coming out of college. But like men do it all the time. She should never get this many backlash because she had a baby with an 18 year old. Okay. Once you're 18, you're legal. Right. Now let me tell you something. Right. Uh -huh. Let me tell you why. This is. Uh -huh. You see. You see. Um. You see. Um. Uh, uh, shorty, yo, yo right? free R. Kelly, because wasn't the, one of the girls 17? Oh, mm. 18, Isn't that legal 18, in certain states? Okay, right. 18. Right? No, I'm saying. Right. A lot no. of men date 18 year old girls. R. Mm -hmm. Kelly was looking at A lot at of men love young girls. The, one of the girls was 17. Mm -hmm. You be seeing older men. I be that's, walking that's, down. That's legal. Mm -hmm. I be seeing older but R. men R. Kelly looking at younger girls. He's all a predator. The time. Mm -hmm. when, when Dame Dash was looking at Aaliyah, mm -hmm. the predator. Predator. Now, with with Shorty right here, I once I saw the story, you giving straight. Let's keep it a buck, right? And I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to violate our queens, our women. But you gave 100% gold digger vibes. That's right? exactly what it is. You She's not violating. Oh. She gave 1,000% gold and digger vibes. And what's her name? Did? What's her name? Melissa Ford. You're on 39 show? years Seven. old. Yeah, dating. A 21. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Listen, listen to me, kid, Danny, before you comment. You're 39 years old, dating a 21 year old man who came and, straight and I'm sorry. out of I'm, college. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to correct you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to correct you. Mm -hmm. You said dating, which would even be more credit. Excuse me. Got pregnant. Got pregnant. Excuse me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay, that's what happens when people have sex. Hold on, hold There's on. There's chances you might get a hold baby. On, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You knew exactly why you were sexing the 21-year-old man. 
There was nothing mentally and emotionally that 20 year old man can offer you as a 39 year old, old woman, woman. right? Now, I'm peeking. He can, te- smart he can, te- right. he can teach her how to shoot a jump shot. I'm smiling right. because I feel her. like he can teach her how to shoot a jump shot. I'm smiling. As a 39 year old woman, right? The same way you're talking about the man. As a 39 year old woman, she has no integrity, right? She has no integrity, right? As a 39 year old woman, you're looking for a way out. As a 39 year old woman, crazy. she got right? two kids from my As a 39 uh, year old woman, player. you're showing me that you do star. not have morals. You are showing me that you do not have any financial stability that you are trying to inquire on your own. It shows that you are a moocher. It shows that you are not trying to <clears throat> sit there and elevate yourself as a woman and create a lifestyle and a role model, right? As a woman to show a hardworking woman to your children. But- you're showing me. That you're giving up. Now, that, that you, you're showing me that you're giving. I'm gonna try to get as much money as I can by capitalizing on someone else. But you gotta understand. That's what you're showing me. But you gotta understand. Drea is 39 years old, right? But the lifestyle that she lived, she lived like a 21 year old lifestyle. She don't live like a normal 40 year old woman. Mm-hmm. Let's let's get that straight. Drea is not a typical 40 year old woman. Mm-hmm. She's a Why not? entertainer, but like she she act young. You see how she dresses. She you see how she moves her, her her lifestyle. She act young. A twenty one year old. I'm pretty sure she probably. She, I would call her gold digger. Yes. I I I, I would call you call her gold digger. I'm gonna give her that. But as long as you're twenty one. As on you 18, you're legal. Men do it all Danny, the time. Danny, and I'm going to stick by jail. Danny, Danny, no, if I walked no, in here, if I no. walked in here. I see it all the time. If I walked in here with an 18-year-old Danny, be Bro, honest. I'm you, you, you wouldn't blacking. judge me? I'm like, judging Keep you. it real. If I walked in here smashing an 18-year-old Danny, you but, wouldn't talk about me? But and keep, no, keep it real. I'm keeping it real. Would you talk about me no, if I was no, smashing an 18-year-old? No, let me tell you why. Because I see to it. To my so, face. To your face. Let me, say, let me tell you why. I mm. see it all the time in my face. I see older men date younger women all the time. So for me, that's normal. Mm-hmm. That's normal. And I feel like every woman should be allowed to date any man. As long as they're 18, you're legal. That should not be see, like, oh. You, as long as you're 18, you're legal. Mm-hmm. See, here's the thing with that. I'm not debating that way once you're 18 you're legal but really understand the bigger picture of it what can a 40 year old woman possibly give this kid who's 12 years old with he's similar no, whoa, behind whoa, his head whoa 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 First of what all, Drea ain't giving doing? him nothing nothing he's giving Drea everything still, still mm-hmm. but you but you give what I'm trying to say whether it's but, whether it's him giving it to her at the end of the day it's like yo and, and you I, said, and why I, can she give her? Why can she give him? Why can she, she give him? You think, you think Drea wants to be with him? But she gave it to him. She don't want to be with him. But she gave it to her. But he gave it to her. He gave her the baby. You know what? That's what she wanted. I feel bad yeah. for him because you know what that just means? You don't have proper guidance in your corner to tell you, your bro, you might want to leave that situation yeah. alone. Mm-hmm. That's all that's telling me. Yeah, because Drea, Drea, you got to understand this. Drea's a Drea's bad. Mm-hmm. So she's a, a 21 year old. Yeah. So, and this mind, is why people like, and, I, and I, get, I, get, I get why Joe Budden, you know, saying a predator, she's legal, so that could be that's a little far, I guess. To but say Jay predator. Is 40. But let me tell you, let me tell you why you gotta look at it. A baddie that's 39 years old and you see a 21 year old, that's I see why Joe Budden said predator because that's manipulation. Mm-hmm. Like that's exactly she what manipulated it is. a young mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. to get what she wanted. What mm-hmm. do you that's, think? That's the that's the definition of a predator. Doing mm-hmm. to sixteen year olds. That's, that, like, that's 30, why R. Kelly something. is exactly you, mm-hmm. buddy. You you sought out a young mind that's not strong enough and you manipulated them to get what you want. So you so saying? I, I see why Joe Budden is like so you're, that's, saying, you're a predator. So you're thirty nine. You bad. You knew you could just manipulate them and be like shut up let me pull your thing you knew what you could do to get what you wanted yeah. like you That's manipulated the I agree with that but like, at the end of the so day I get it at the end of the day I feel like Jaya's 40 years old but she looks 25 okay. I don't give a, I, agree. I really no, yes. no 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 we agree with we're, that we're not taking that and my home. whole thing is why can a 40 year old woman be attracted to a 21 year old you have nothing in common your penis with is That's fully your grown your, pen, your penis is fully grown what do you have in common daddy if you you, they could have stuff in common. She probably keeping, in common. He probably keeping her young. 
He's keeping her young. She already looks young. Dan, if they have not together. Dan, if they not have together. Nothing Just like when men be like, oh, you know, I got, I like me a young woman because you know they keep me young. They I keep would, me young. If, if, if we heard, if we heard the story come out that they were dating, yes, that then could, that. they were never dating. And what if you, she just went yeah. to just have some fun with him and then, you know, boom. A baby happened. Okay, so maybe she just wanted no, to have some you, fun. If you was just having then, fun, then you would have got rid of the baby. You would have got rid of the kid. That's oh, not, not even having that. fun. Why did she want to keep her baby? Even, I'm about to be funny. So that's not having fun. Well, okay, that's but having fun. What if she wanted to keep her baby? That's why not if, having fun. Then. That means why, you have okay, intention. But what if... Okay, boom. I don't want no more baby, but like... Okay. Do you know what having fun means? Okay, let, let's say this. Let's take that, that. Hold on, hold on. Let's ask that question. Do you know what having yeah, fun means? Yeah, having fun is not getting pregnant. Are you sure? Having fun means not getting pregnant. That's not that's, having that's fun. Not, that's a no no. That's a not going to having happen. Having fun is not you getting can't, pregnant. You can't it's just say sex. you're not getting pregnant. Yes, I you're right. Sure. But that's not if you're having fun. And then the thing pop. Okay, oh, but it's not you having think fun. That plan B is gonna see me at the counter. Exactly, because you said you're having fun. If you're having fun, if you're just fun, having, I'm having sex. Fun. It's just That's sex. It. Nothing that attached to no, Exactly, no attachment. I could it's walk just away, sex. no problem. But if you have, if, if you, if you get pregnant and. It looks like you have the intentions to be pregnant. To keep the child? Because, oh, baby, that's not let's fun. Let's be real. That's entrapment. You are sitting, you, you, you are, it's obvious that you're dating somebody for have fun because now the person is half your age. There's nothing in common. But my whole thing is, if I'm 40 year old and I'm pregnant, if I want one more baby, I'm keeping it. I don't care but who baby But that's not who you have mm-hmm. it with, though. You don't have it with the kid, with a, no, a kid. Know, and you know what's crazy? You know, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazier about this, right? Mm-hmm. People people look at um, Scotty Pippen's ex-wife mm-hmm. with Michael, Michael Jordan's, Jordan's son, son because of that age difference. There yeah. is nothing she could offer that young man. And, 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 and what's, what, is, what's, crazy, what's is crazier pack. is that... Jalen Green is like the same age yes. of her oldest son, yes. of Drea's oldest son. Yeah. All she's getting is pipes. They're the same. She basically nothing. just smashed her what son's friends. friends. Yeah, it's crazy. That's all it is. That's that's crazy. Crazy. She I could be like, his mom. I feel like she well, is his mother. That's what that's I That's probably how they met her son. But probably. I feel like, <laughs> cool I, feel like hey, women, yeah. I feel like older women don't get enough grace. I feel like just like men could date younger women. No, they can't. Man. They do it I all the time. I just have to disagree with they you. They do it all the time. I, it's not 21 year olds, man. They do it all the time. Olds, man. Mm-hmm. They, do it all the time. they do it all the time. Here's the thing. You have... It's not 21 year olds. It'd be you like 50 year olds with like 25, 26 year olds. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not 21 year olds. I'd be right? in the club. Mm-hmm. I'd be in the club and I would see a man that's 50 year old, 60 year old, because he got money and you see my young girls around him. You know what why? is that Actually, telling me? That's you telling me that these girls are just, dumb and they want to use his not money. Even that. You just, that's what they're telling You just said the main thing. <laughs> well, these 50 something year olds with mad 20s, he got money. Well, duh. That's the only reason why they're there. And he not trying to get them pregnant. <laughs> He's not trying to get them pregnant. I just feel like, I just feel like, let's go, let's go about that. Let's go about that label that like, you know, once one man got money, that's it. 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 They allowed to date whoever they want. Yeah, yeah. baby, you're naive. You're legal. No, I will have sex with an 18 year old. Uh-huh. Hey. If you were 40. Yes. Did you want to get pregnant by a 21 year old if you're 40? Listen, if it happened and I want my baby, I'm keeping it. Okay. I'm oh. keeping it. So okay, I want you to understand the thing. Hold on. So I'm keeping it. It's not one. It's not having fun. And two, prepare yourself to be a single mother. That's what I, I was okay, saying. single mother. I'm 40. I'm 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 that's, pretty that's sure I'm gonna be financially stable. Jalen, Jalen, Jalen Green. Mother. Jalen Green is about to be in a contract year because I think this is third year, so he should be out of his rookie contract. So uh-huh. next year, um, Sam June is a star of the Houston Rockets. So uh-huh. I'm not sure if Jalen Green is gonna get that max deal. It's most likely would be like Sam June or Jabari Smith Jr. might get a good deal too. So they want to keep all three of them. Uh-huh. So when what's the name said he gonna get the max three hundred million, he's not. Mm-hmm. But he gonna get a good. He but gonna he get a went good. Off. He gonna get a, he gonna get a big bag. He gonna, right. get, he gonna get a hundred. He gonna get a hundred ninety. No, broke. no, he gonna get a hundred ninety million. A hundred. But he gonna that get she a big bag. The smart thing to do is get a bag. Jalen Green's been prepared to go to the NBA since he was a sophomore in, in high school. school. Mm-hmm. We knew his name from high school, Jalen. Yeah. But what makes a man? Money. He was that nice. What's, mm-hmm. What makes a man money? There's more to that, but I'll a lot of it have to do with money and power and status. And he tall, his money tall. Mm-hmm. So he 21, but he's even better than a 39 his, his year old man. Ain't that mm-hmm. tall yet? His so, money but, ain't that tall yet. But how many older men that got two or three millions in the bank? Yeah, he's 21 right. year old, but he he got his his money right. His so money as long. a woman, as his money long. Mm-hmm. So a woman, once a man got money, I don't care if you're 21, 22, or 23, the money's right, you grown. 
I'm fa- if, your if, money going, you With that situation, I'm filing for custody. I'm sorry, but your money... I your money respectfully disagree. Your money grown, you're not grown, women, bro. Yeah. What do women go so, for? So hold on. What, right, was, hold on, what, hold on, what hold was on. that coach? That football coach that was going through a divorce? Or basketball? I think it was football. Basketball. Maybe. Who? Tell the story. Was it basketball? It. No, go ahead. What's the story? Was it basketball? Oh, that. He was going through the divorce, and his contract was up to be renewed. Mm-hmm. Once his divorce was final, that's when his contract got renewed because why the wife was oh, smart. They was the, not the um. Oh my god! Basketball coach. I don't know. Yeah, who we talked about the other day. We talked about it. Who was. His money was. Yes, yes, his money yes. was long. They waited. It was, let me, was let me, it was let me, let me, let me tell you. Like, yeah, let me, give it to you. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry to take this as sports, but I just I I wholeheartedly love you, Danny, and gotta disagree with when your money long, you a man mm-hmm. or you grown. The M- the NFL. I'm sorry, I got to bring this to sports, y'all. The NFL and the NBA right now mm-hmm. are the 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 NBA union, the players union, and mm-hmm. the NFL union right now are working really hard to like provide more guidance to NFL players yes. and NBA mm-hmm. players to them because, because they, they feel like they, they don't know how to manage their money they because don't. they're because they're kids. Yeah. yeah, and that's why the NFL and the NBA are putting so much money into hiring therapists, financial yep. managers, yep. mad stuff because yep. they're like these kids are 18, 21 year old kids getting millions and hundreds of well, millions it, of dollars it, and, and don't know how to manage it. You know, what wait, wait, Danny, you know why they don't know how to manage it? Because they're not grown and mm-hmm. they're kids. Yeah. Jalen Green is, is a, a kid. kid. Okay. Yeah. And you know, that's why he got three. Kid. That's why he got three. That's why he got financial managers to show him how to manage his money, how to still balance a goddamn checkbook. Because he's 21. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. Just they're not even letting him 20. buy his own property yet yeah. and stuff. Just they're teaching him. Because he's 21. A baby. He's, he's, a, baby. Baby. he's a kid. Let me say that. And that's why the NBA won't allow them to get certain amounts of money at that age. Now they're like, all right, we got we're gonna give it to you in dividends. Increments. We can't, yeah, we can't just give these kids money. Mm-hmm. NFL players are pissed, saying, "Y'all, it's their money; they earned it." But you can't just throw a hundred million dollars at a twenty-year-old mm-hmm. because church, they're kids. Listen, at my church, he's not grown. There was this twenty-one-year-old woman mm-hmm. with this twenty-three-year-old man. Mm-hmm. They were married. You said mm-hmm. 21, 23? Yeah, they yeah. were married with two kids. At 21, you could start a life. You're grown. Mm-hmm. You're not grown. You, you're grown. You could start a life, but you're not grown, you man. You don't know anything, you're not, You don't know grown. If you're 21, you're so still... So most 21-year-olds are still so in their mama what, and daddy let's, house. Let's, you left your mama and daddy house at 21? You probably okay, was still okay, living with okay, them, but you ain't grown. Let's talk about See, that. What's you grown? What attracts women? What attracts women? What's See, the number one thing that look, attracts look, most women? Money. You're money. Looking, so. Money is the problem. See, but honestly, you're not grown. I, I don't think money but is the problem. Grown. Mm-hmm. But I don't think, to, to you, you think money is a problem. To me, I don't think money is a problem. I think what you're missing is the fact that it's the common sense thing. Yes, he's 21. We've established that. But at the end of the day, we have to come to realization. Mm-hmm. In the age that we live in, at 21, these kids... Cause that's what they are. I don't care if you're 21 or nothing. You're still a kid because you want to know why? You probably still live at home and your common sense is not so common. They don't you're know a kid. anything. We're you're not a kid. talking about a typical 21 year old. Jalen it Green, doesn't, it doesn't Jalen Green mom, I honestly, think, still live with him. So honestly, I really think his financial status doesn't mean nothing to you me. You better make sure he right. His financial status does not mean nothing if to my me. Son made what it he to, did is a stupid move. Vince, if my son made it to the NBA... At 21. Oh, no, I'm moving I'm, in. I'm moving in. <laughs> I'm moving in. I'm moving in. I'm moving in. Yo, yes. I'm moving, I'm moving in, in, dog. I'm a, I'll take the guest house on but the side. Sure I got to be here to protect trash. you, bro. Oh, you a kid, bro. I got to protect always, you, dog. They always on the road. What we're talking bro. about, they always so, on the road. I'm they always on the road. I got my bag. What was, what's, so what, what, what was the main issue, right? All of y'all, what was the main uh-huh. issue that they were saying with Ja Morant? And he 22. What was the main issue they were saying? He's acting like a child. He wasn't mature enough. He's not. He's a and, and damn. About and they it. said too much money giving these kids. And, and he's and 22. He's, he's a this. kid. He was he's a, a kid. He was a he was a NBA he's a, all-star. He's a dumb yep. kid. He's an all-star. John ja Morant was in commercials. He had Nike deals. He had, he, come on. He had, he had, he had dumb, sponsorships. And everyone said dumb this stuff. kid. And, 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 and look at it. He, did, he, he, had, he, got this, he got in trouble twice for the same dumb, thing. And then the first thing but, they said was, yo, we got to prevent the end of the NBA players union said we got to learn how to help these kids yes. with these big bags Listen, I'm they're not, kids I'm not disagreeing with be, anything go ahead and reason be that the NBA has stepped in finally is because they've learned their lesson they learned their lesson way John too Moran many was times. the last yeah. lesson John Moran was the last they're like you know and what Chris right. Paul was like I right. Chris enough Paul and um 
What's the name that played with Allen Iverson from Philly? And now he played with Golden State. But I'm not disagreeing with you. Hey, um, uh, like Andre Iguodala, 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 the president now, was like, yo, they enough is enough. enough but is I'm not, we got to help these kids. I'm mm-hmm. not disagreeing with all this, like, money stuff. But, like, no, what really attracts women, a lot of it, what really attracts women is money. Mm-hmm. When a woman know a man got money, they bend their rules, and, oh, you know, like, he's financially stable. A lot of women look at financial... A lot of women, money is their love language. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Drea did Drea did what she had to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But don't don't act like... That ball player was probably, probably starstruck by Drea. Well, duh. Yeah, he got manipulated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what Like, happened, he wanted bro. to date Drea, too. He wanted duh. to be the man, oh, I'm dating Drea. Duh. He wanted that. Come on, you of mean course. Tell me what? And you know what? Twenty years old, you think I'm not at mm-hmm. twenty years old? Okay, that. okay. I'm not gonna okay. be like, oh yeah, I back Dre and Michelle, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm bragging, I back Dre and exactly. Michelle. Exactly. Yeah, that's and, exactly and what all happened. It took and Dre, her, her mind was like, I'm about to have, I'm about to make this dummy give me a baby. So you should be smiling. And while in the room, she was like, baby, you don't need a condom. And Jay was probably like. Word, I. Jay was like, Jay, Jay, to get this young man to have sex up his life. Yeah. She was riding, yeah. she was riding, she was riding, 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 riding. She was riding, 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 she was riding. She was riding. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> but next time, I'm gonna bring you. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take it to church. I'm gonna bring you a praise T-shirt because clearly. <laughs> You uh, showing some things. Um, yeah, we we'll be back. We're talking. We're going. gonna talk about Chris and Chris song, whatever rock uh, <laughs> tattoo on her face. We'll be back. I'm um, just saying, show quick break. <laughs> Yo, what up? What up? All right, welcome back. Oh, you got the yeah. volume. All right. Yo, so um, uh-huh. there's a there's a there's a poll there's a poll going around the Pulse. internet. <laughs> There's a poll. <laughs> Pause, bro. Come on, man. Come on, son. Yeah. You wildin'. Son. That's twice, dog. All right. There's a um. There's a poll going around the internet that asks women, um, if men with tattoos are sexier than men with no tattoos. Is that true or not? It's true, ladies. I know it is, ladies. Don't lie. Uh... Do you find tattoos sexy, Lady Vixen? Says the person with how many tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> Do you find your right. men? Do you, you find tattoos? your men you sexy? I have twelve. Oh, I don't see. You know, you you're right. You cover it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, there's. It just depends on where. Mm-hmm. I have twelve. So, um, go ahead. Do I find men with tattoos sexy? Sexier, sexier. Absolutely. See. see? But however. Sometimes you come across a man, I come across men that don't have tattoos, and I still find myself attracted to them. Okay. You said you still find yourself attracted but you to said, them. Mm-hmm. But you said that you would prefer, you find men with tattoos sexier than yeah. men without tattoos. What about you, um, Danny? I don't care for tattoos, so I I, I feel I'm the one person that Hold on, you don't have any tattoos. I don't got no tattoos. I'm naked, baby. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I don't have no tattoos. I don't care for it. Like, mm-hmm. it looks pretty to me, but then I feel like, the next day, I would get annoyed if I got a tattoo. Uh-huh. I want it off for me. I'm like that. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? And I tried to get a tattoo. It just didn't work out. But, like, I'm not big into tattoos. Like, I'm really... Honestly, I don't really like men that's all tatted up everywhere. I get a little turned off by that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'd be... I'd be... I get turned off I'd by be that. Tat- There's a point where I just wanted tats everywhere. Like, mm-hmm. even right now, I want my whole leg tatted, tatted up. That's a great I, still I might, like a nice arm tattoo on a man. I think I that's still so might sexy. Get my whole leg. Yeah, yeah, y'all know already that I have a sleeve. Y'all know I, I, I'm sleeved up. The whole right arm is sleeved up. Yeah, I wanted up. my neck at one point and, and my everything, chest. bro. But I'm doing my back. I said I was doing my yeah, back. Yeah, you told me. You told yeah, me. I was supposed you to do my me. back already, but I yeah. waited, you know, because I wanted to lose more weight, you know what I'm saying, before I do the back because I wanted to cover, I would say, not my entire back, but the first steps of my back I'm going to be doing is from from my whole shoulder blades, my entire shoulder blades I'm doing. So um, it might be done this year. It might I be done this Well, so, speaking so, of... So, oh, guys, ahead. versa for the questions. Do y'all men find that attractive with women with tattoos or without tattoos? Yeah. yeah. Do, do, do men, think, fi- do men think, find um, women with tattoos attractive? I think yes. Like, a lot of tattoos. Yes. yes. Not, I'm not going to... You get you and go first? I got you. Yes. Okay. Like this. Rock, paper, scissors. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I've realized there's certain tattoos <laughs> that women rock, have. Paper, right? I feel fits the category of... Or I say fit the description fits that person. of their personality. Like, there's certain tattoos like where what? when I see women, 
right? Ladies, I'm about to put you all on blast, right? Ladies of the congregation, right? When I see women with thigh tattoos, I love it. I that think it's tells so me sexy. something about you. And usually, you're free. You're free. That's, uh, that's, no, that's not necessarily this one. It's free. But it, it gives crazy vibes, right? Yeah, it, 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 it gives it gives crazy, crazy when I see crazy a woman. Vibes. Yes. When I see a woman, and it's been proving me right. When so I see, <laughs> when I see, women, I've been proven right. <laughs> that so just far. means the women you deal with. When I see <laughs> women crazy. with tattoos by their vagina, mm-hmm. I know they're freaky. Yeah, of course. I know they're freaky. You know, back in the day. I have one. Back uh, in the day, back in the day was well, the, the lower back. The lower back was lower considered back. a tramp stamp. Yeah, they used to call it a tramp stamp back in the day. Huh? Right? I got one of those too. Lower oh, back. You first got it your no, my first tattoo was my lower back. No, your tattoo vagina. Right where does it go? Like this? Like, it's covered up. The fat covers it. <laughs> <laughs> my fat covers it. So, like, you know what I mean? There's certain stuff. And then you'll see... What I, what I find is a nice tattoo, too, is that I've seen women with um the leopard print. Oh, mm. oh you do. We different. My, I think, I think the sleeve is, is sexy. I think the sleeve is sexy. I like, a, 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 I like women that a, a have under that boob straight, tattoos. A woman that straight got a sleeve. It's sexy. I like the un, yeah. under boob straight tattoos. Sleeve. I like a nice tattoo by like, not by your neck, yeah. by like your little mm-hmm. behind right your right here, here mm-hmm. behind, behind your neck. And I like it, um, right here when he's just writing down. Yeah, see, like all one, of that, that cool. one line, all I think that's cool. sexy. Mm-hmm. But just sleeve it, just thug it. Just sleeve it. That sleeve. Your girl got tattoos? No, she want yeah, she got tattoos, but she want to sleeve. Mm-hmm. You want to see? Yeah, you probably told, be like, go do it. You'll put that money the for moment, that real quick. The moment she was like, I, I think I'm going to get a sleeve. I'm like, let's do that all in one day. <laughs> yeah, all right. One day. What are we talking about? Brutal. What are we talking about? The that back, sleeve tattoo When I want to do the back, the back, me, they got to do, they gotta do the outline first. Because yeah. I can't do everything one day. Yeah, yeah. I don't probably do the outline the first day. And How then big the color are you doing day. on your back? I'm doing a my Pause. Pause. Yes, that is a big... Yeah, that's the tattoo I'm getting. The tattoo I'm getting my back is gonna be from from arm to arm. It's gonna be oh, my yeah, that's, that, that's a, the wings. Yeah, mm-hmm. the wings that's gonna it come really over d- there. Yeah. It depends on the placement. I could tell you right now, it really depends on that because the out of all my tats, the only one that just that made me reconsider getting tattoos all together mm-hmm. is my and my rosary tattoo. And what was it? And that's on my ankle. Mm-hmm. Of course, See, that's that, very sensitive. That one, t- his, his, mine was when he got close to my nipple on my thing, yes. bro. That didn't, that didn't phase me. Something. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I almost died. I'm gonna tell you the worst pain that you're gonna get. Like number one, like you said, the ankle. Ankles are very big. That's as, as close to a bone. That's the reason why it's gonna hurt you so much, right? I'm gonna tell you another sensitive area that's gonna hurt like hell, and people don't realize because I got it tight, right? And I remember I, I got all of this done. Right under here. Oh, that's a fact. Right under here is a very sensitive area for anyone. I didn't even go under. I'm right well, on top. Really right over here. Under. Yeah, your yeah, underarm is so like sensitive. Look, like, your underarm is under like, like, super like, sensitive. David like, that what? was the only area, right, out of all my tattoos. I believe it because that I started sweating. I believe it. While okay. he was. While he was doing okay. the artwork, Yo, I was okay. sweating. No, I think I just kind of strong in this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, look at this. So, this is the last one I got. My grandmother. You know, you know, actually, yeah. you know. Actually, you know. This is the last one I got. <laughs> All right, so speaking of tattoos, um, Chris, Christian, 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 Christian Rock. Dumb, dumb. Uh, got a face, uh, you know, a tattoo yeah, of blue yeah, face, his face yeah, on her face. Yeah. I still don't believe that tattoo is real. Like, I don't know. The only person I don't believe that tattoo is real. I don't either. I don't believe it's real. I think it's like a. Uh, a, a, a start. I mm-hmm. think it's like, you know, to keep their views up. I don't think that tattoo is real. Me neither. I don't think it's real. I don't I'm, think I'm, wait, I'm waiting for her to come out and, and say, say gotcha. this was fake. It was a thing. Ink. Mm-hmm. I never said it was real. And mm-hmm. I, I think it's fake. I mm-hmm. think it's a fake tattoo. I think tattoo. it's fake. I think it's a fake tattoo. Yeah. I think it's just, I think she just keeping Blueface's name relevant. Mm-hmm. I don't think the tattoo is real. I think no, I think that yeah, it, it, there's a big possibility the tattoo could be fake. There's a big possibility, so I, I'm gonna say fifty-fifty on that. But as we know, mm-hmm. when it comes to reality celebrities, right? Reality superstars or reality uh-huh. reality TV celebrities, right? You have a short span of fame, yeah, right? And as we know. From what we have seen on social media with Krishan and Blueface is that the reason why they're relevant is because of Krishan and Blueface. Toxic behavior. Right? 
So now, in order for you to remain relevant, you need to do things that's going to keep you relevant mm -hmm. because the relevancy is what produces income for you, right? If nobody's talking about you, if nobody's thinking about you, if nobody's seeing you, how are you going to create the income that you need? Because this is where they know you from. You don't have any other big talent besides reality TV and social media. That's how you stay relevant. Yeah, so you you're going to do everything she yeah. can to keep herself relevant. And it, and, it, and and to be honest with you, I don't think this is going to be the worst thing that she's done so far. No, there I believe there's going to be no, worse things. Their, their reality TV, real life is reality TV. Mm -hmm. So they when you at when you were a reality TV star like the Kardashians used to do it and they used to be the best at it. The mm -hmm. best. You 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 hear celebrities, you know celebrities you, you know, celebrities call up paparazzi and mm -hmm. tell them what restaurant they're going to. And then when paparazzi pop up, they act up like they didn't know. Yeah. Like Kardashians used to be the best at it. And mom used to call when uh, Kim was and then Kim would pretend that she just, I'm just trying to eat guys and pretend like she mm -hmm. ain't know they were there. So mm -hmm. being like, you have to treat reality like you're a celebrity. Mm -hmm. You got to start staging fights at bars. Like if I'm a superstar mm -hmm. and I'm known for like Blueface and Chris on Rock, like I got to call y'all and be like, yo, I gotta call some goons and say, yo, let's do a fake fight at the mm -hmm. at the club. It'll go viral. Like when mm -hmm. you start dying out, you gotta be creative like yeah. that mm -hmm. to keep your name out. So I agree with you where mm -hmm. like that tattoo was a stunt to mm -hmm. keep their name relevant. Because I don't see she did because be honest. Let me just call it spade a spade. If she literally got that tattoo, it was been the stupidest thing that she's ever done because of the fact that she got a tattoo of him already on her neck Compared and she covered it. Stupid things yeah. she's done. So like, you know what I'm saying? You got a tattoo of his neck, you learned your lesson and you covered it and then now they get on his face. Like, I understand. I would prefer if she got it right back on her neck. I would. Oh, you think it would so be So Joe said, that's what I was thinking, probably just a stunt to stay relevant. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And all right, let's move on from that, Scooter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, just hilarious. <laughs> Jessica, I, I told you that, and as I said, and, I, and, and then is. I told, I called Kevin yep. and told him this, and I said, "How? Look how I want to hear what Danny has to yep. say about Jess this." Yeah, Jessica, this is part when of the I Breakfast heard Club. It, mm -hmm. I was actually happy that Jess. I feel like Jessica is deserving. Oops. And honestly, <laughs> as long as not a Spanish woman on that chair, Spanish woman. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for you, Jess. I'm happy, sis. Keep doing it for your black woman, Perry. Mm -hmm. So what happened to the what happened to the view of her and Charlamagne? I thought heads? I really thought they couldn't coexist, but I guess. But then if you now think about it, Charlamagne about to retire soon. You think so? Yeah, he been he did yeah, it for a long yeah, time. I don't think that show is. I don't know how many years. Yeah, they that's that. Yo, huh? the Breakfast Club is not as hot as it used to be. Okay. But that's the, everything. Because there's so many podcasts and shows out. Mm -hmm. At one point, the Breakfast Club was the hottest. Mm -hmm. The Breakfast Club is not. The Breakfast Club can no, no longer make you or break you. Mm -hmm. At one point, it was so big mm -hmm. that if you're not at the Breakfast Club or if you're not getting mentioned at the Breakfast Club, it was that big. Now, the Breakfast Club is just the Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's always gonna hold it's weight. It's always hot because it's always know. gonna be. It's always gonna hold weight, and mm -hmm. I actually because think it's Jess, iconic. Jess gonna make the Breakfast Club hotter because mm. she's very good at what she does. Mm -hmm. She's gonna make it. She's not. She's gonna to to, to not disrespect Charla, Charlemagne and Envy. I don't want to say like it's gonna be hotter. She's gonna refresh in it. No, it's yeah. gonna be hotter because guess what? She's gonna bring it back she, to life. Because <laughs> it's like, it's like Charlamagne and them. Because it's icon, the show's they iconic. Older, they, they're they're right. older now, they're yeah, older. Yeah. They need a fresh, it's a fresh young yeah. me, a fresh new mind. And I yeah. feel like Jesse Levis is the perfect person yeah. to do it. Uh -huh. She gonna call a spade a spade and not give a crap. Because the show's always iconic. Uh, she gonna call a spade a spade. I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I think for me, I really paid attention more to her. To the show when she came on it. Yeah, I loved she, her on the show. Yeah, I loved her on the funny. show, and I'm not gonna lie, I I, I was I, I laughed when she kind of went in on sexy red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. I found it funny. But she had a great conversation with she her had, actor, handled it super honestly, professionally. She still handled it professionally on and yeah. off air. It's great. Not, she, and, and it's like again, great. here's where it goes to the young minded of someone being twenty something years old and can't handle constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Who's a kid? 
<laughs> Caribbean people say you ne- you you gonna be a kid forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm 30 something years old. I still get called a kid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I have a kid. Cause we Caribbean. Caribbean right. thing. We don't ever get older. We now oh, with Caribbean parents, you're not old till you're 40. Yeah. <laughs> with Caribbean parents, until you're 40, you're not old. Mm-hmm. No, you're oh. you're you're no longer old when you move out their house. No, mm-hmm. they want to keep you there when, forever. Mm-hmm. I mean, my mother keeps paying me there forever, but. Mm-hmm. Like, do you see what rent is now with this? Yo, huh? Do you see what rent is now with this? Rent is a, yo, rent, yo. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Rent is so expensive. That's a mortgage. Rent, I have no rent, problem staying home. Rent is so expensive. And I told one of my friends, like, oh, you don't have no problem living with your mom and your family? Nope. She said, just because these people outside got a problem with their family, mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all can't come for me. I love my family. That's why I'm going to say this. You know, I have my own space at the crib. Like, y'all, be, y'all don't like your family so bad. Y'all want me not to like my family. Rent is expensive. Rent is I come home, my great. mother cooks. Rent is a mortgage. Rent is insane. Said, she said, I come home, my mother cook. My mother wash my kid. I could go do what I want. If I go get my own spot, I'm going to need a babysitter. I'm going to be paying like $2,500 for rent. Why am I doing all that? And I, I love, love my friend. family. Like, I love that friend. That friend and me think alike. That's a whole fact. You see what rent is out with it? In New York? No, and New I'm York good. is crazy. Would you, would, you, would you leave New York? If you had the opportunity right now to move out of New York, would you move Honestly, out? Honestly, I was supposed to go spend six months in Miami with my friend. Like, we were going to get a spot Another together. And we had a falling out, so... <laughs> no, that, no, baby, that was your mother telling you don't go. <laughs> we we had a falling was. out, so... That, oh, that's that right. You were supposed to, to go for no, like no. six months, that, right? That, that, you were supposed to go to Miami. Yeah, I, I was supposed to go, yeah, but like, yeah. yeah, I had a falling out with my friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, like that, was, that was your mom telling yeah, you such a, so such a mom. I kind of feel like we wouldn't... When I start looking at our personality and how she moved, how I move, I feel like maybe we wouldn't be the best roommate. You know yeah, what I'm no, saying? I need to live on my own. So, I, I can't. Would you leave New York right now? Cool. You, you, leave New York? Yeah, would you have the, and go you had struggle the opportunity? Somewhere else? Would you leave New York? And go struggle somewhere else? Why would you struggle somewhere else? That's what I'm not doing. That's why Wait, why would you, why would <laughs> you, why, why, struggle. why would you struggle somewhere else? It's a else? whole struggle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I heard that. Why? It's a struggle because I know people that has left New York and went out of state or wherever. They say, yo, it's. Yeah, because with New it's York, it's a struggle. Really? Like, I know yep. people who I left and, and some people and, and, and doing amazing. Some people they doing amazing. Some people want to leave. Mm-hmm. Right, and, 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 and it's, it's 50 50. Get. Some people they I leave, prefer... it gets better for them, and some they, they leave and like, yo. Yeah, I got a, I, I got prefer being broke. I got someone who just moved I to Puerto Rico. I prefer being broke in New York instead of being broke in Miami or LA. Mm. I feel like in New York, broke, you could hide yeah, it. You, you could, could like, yeah. you could, you could be in your little it. corner, yeah. but you can't do that broke lifestyle in Miami and in LA. Well, there's and, so much know? to do in New York that you don't even need money to be entertained. Mm-hmm. True. There's so many free things you can find to that's do too thing. in New York. Like, it's so busy. If you hungry, there's restaurants we can. Like, <laughs> you know, you know what, you know what you messed up. You know what's messed food. up about. <laughs> you know what's so messed up about America? Like, I want to get. I want to like. You know, I said with my sister, I want to get my own spot. And you know what's messed up about America? You got money, you don't got no credit. You got credit, you don't got, got no money. money. Now, yeah. I could tell somebody, I'm going to pay you a year, just give me the spot with no credit. They're not going to want to do it. Mm-hmm. The crazy mm-hmm. thing about New York is like, you better off not having a job. Mm. Yeah, The way the government assistance work, it like, it make you want to quit working. Mm-hmm. I get a free apartment. I got people, you paying $16 for rent? Hold mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Hold up, dog. But Why am I working, bro? You have to meet a certain criteria to get there. Bro. And you have, bro. <laughs> bro. And all the criteria is broke. Even, or not even that. You could have a job and you fall under that criteria. But now here's a problem. You have to make sure you remain under that criteria. Meaning, yep. if the job is saying, hey, Melissa, I have some OT. Would you want it? No, I'm cutting hair. You, you can't, me? I'm becoming you can't a barber. Say, you can't say mm-hmm. you, you can't say yes I'm having not unreportable <laughs> income. Mm-hmm. I'm barber. At I'm this point, taking I kinda cash. Care. I got, like, look, I, kidding got, me? I take my OT because I got a kid to pay for. Mm-hmm. I got bills to pay. My lifestyle does not tell me to. to what, I could. I couldn't to, qualify to for none of, of that York. nonsense, man. Honestly, I feel like moving out of New York. I don't know if like I like Miami, but I don't know if I could make money in Miami. Like mm. you know, like nope. It's it's over. Just like how New York is literally over capacity, mm-hmm. Miami is over capacity. ATL is over capacity. LA is over capacity. Those are the only states that would make sense cause with uh, with what you do. Yes, mm-hmm. to go down there, but it's over capacity. ATL has way too many co- comedians. So does a- a- LA. 
Mm-hmm. Nobody would really care. I would to move to York. Denver, Colorado. Nobody mm-hmm. would really care. I'm it's not, more it's expensive than New York, though. But no, it's, mm-hmm. it's too expensive. Out it's expensive there. everywhere. Can't, can't afford Denver. It's expensive everywhere. You ever, mm-hmm. I, oh, you ever been to Denver? <laughs> <laughs> I heard. I was What's the next topic we're doing? I thought, your thought, your thought my microphone went off. went off, but it's just my headphones. Yeah, I'm like, why well, I can't hear myself? What's the so, next topic we're doing? Um, there's a, there was this viral uh, question that said, like, would you be okay if your wealthy partner gave you a curfew? Huh? Mm. Would you be Would you be okay if your wealthy partner gave you a curfew? Give who a curfew? You. Your why wealthy not? Wealthy partner. Me? If he gave you a curfew and said you have to be home at a certain time, Let would you be okay answers. with that? I'm gonna see if y'all gonna be honest. Honestly. You know what it is? I feel like... Let me see if you're going to be honest. I wouldn't disagree. I would take that deal if my man got money and he want me home at a certain time. Because guess what? When you live with somebody or you're married, you look, you got a curfew. You got an unspoken curfew. Mm-hmm. Like, you got an uh-huh. unspoken curfew. Like, you're not about to Very pull up to the crib <laughs> at 2 a.m. in the morning every day and we are living together or we are married. Okay. So there is a curfew when you move in with somebody or when you married to somebody. Okay. So if somebody got money and they be like, my man got money, like, oh, I want you home at a certain time. I just say, cool, as long as he don't, like, oh, I want you home at 9, 9 p.m. Now you're doing That's curse for you. Watch yeah, this. 9 p.m. That's a whole curse. 9 p.m. Watch this. I can't have a 9, 9 p.m. curse. I'm, 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 I'm waiting for Vix in there. What you're saying? I'm 9 p.m., Danny. Vix, Vix, <laughs> what is your Not opinion on that? Everything changed. Everything changed with Danny. All <laughs> the time. 9 p.m. Let, let Vixen speak. 9 p.m. Let Vixen speak. Let Vixen speak. Vixen, go ahead. Go, Danny. Answer the same question. 9 o'clock. One, I'm a homebody, so there will be no curfew. No, no, no. That's not the way you asked the, ask the question. Answer Would the question. you be okay uh-huh. if your wealthy partner gave you a curfew? I'm uh-huh. a homebody. Uh-huh. Would you be okay no. if your wealthy partner no. gave you a curfew? No. No. But okay. I feel like we all got curfews you, you and we don't even know it. When we are in relationships and we are married uh-huh. and you're with somebody and yes. you stay together, I'm not getting that. Okay, Danny. Nine o'clock. Yes or no? Nine o'clock. Yes or no? Nine o'clock, yes no? Nine o'clock Danny. Are we going out Danny tonight? Saying yes. Yes, yes or no? I mean, I if the money makes yes. sense nine and I'm done living life, you, you I don't see why not. Wait, wait, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes or no? If the money makes sense and I'm done living life, I'll take my little nine o'clock. No, you done living life with you. Just go done living life. Why was you 60 years old? Hold you Danny. straight. Hold on. Right? Yeah, yeah, Danny yeah. says he's 73. Watch, 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 watch. Hold on, hold on. I want to make this clear before I'm I go in. I'm 73 right? now. How old are you, Danny? Mm-hmm. How old are you? I'm in my 20s. About to be in my 30s. Okay. okay. At this age yeah. right now. Now. Right now, <laughs> meaning tomorrow, right now, not, age. not when you're done with right? life. Honestly, if we're doing things together, that's no. what I'm saying. No, no we're he's not, taking care no. of you financially. And I just got to stay in the house. Right. Nine o'clock. He wants you, want you home at nine o'clock. Right now, no, I can't do it. Um, okay. Not right now, now. Well, watch this. Vixen. I already told you. She said no. No, no, no. I believe they're lying. Right? I believe they're lying. I believe both of you lying. Right? I'm going to tell you why I believe both of you lying. But my lifestyle. Hold on. I do go comedy. I'm going to tell you. When we go to an open mic, I get home at 12. You're telling me to get home at 9 right now. Is you telling me to give up on my dream. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not compromising my dream, bro. That's exactly what I'm telling you. I'm not. No. You don't have no more dreams. This is what I'm telling you. You don't have no more dreams. That's basically what I'm telling you. You don't have no more dreams. You know what I heard in that whole thing? Control. Right? Sir, you're not yeah, gonna control me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cap. Exactly. Right? I'm gonna tell you that's sir. cap. That's Man, cap. Wanna control you know why that's cap? Why? You know why that's cap? Why? Because believe it or not, money talks. Right? Believe it, money talks. Y'all gonna tell me, right? Y'all gonna tell me that this man that you are in set love relationship has the financial bag to take care of all the bills. You are not working. He gives you bread whenever you want your bread. He gives you a car for you to drive. He takes vacations because he has it like that. And he's telling you that I don't want you out. I want you to do this. Boy. You're my wife. Hold on. I want You're you my wifey. Home. I want you home. By you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, all I need you to do is to take care of the household. I, If y'all sit here and tell me. Let me tell wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. If y'all sit here and tell me that all your responsibilities is just to maintain the household. And you're gonna say no! So you are Kevin, not so going to Kevin do that to because he was, like it's a lie. I do can not I, believe I, y'all can whatsoever. Can we so answer? a man who's gonna take Let care of say, every single responsibility you. and all you have to do is maintain the household, if you're like y'all that, gonna say yeah, no? Can can y'all are lying can right now. That is cat. I'm not doing it. Go ahead. My whole thing is like, if I found a man right now, 
and be like, you got to get home at 9 p.m. I can't do it because that, that would mean that I got to give up on my dream. Yes, it does. I'm not done with my dream yet. Uh -huh. And I could stay in the house and I could still be dying because I'm not doing what I love. Yeah. I'm not doing what I love. Let me tell uh -huh. you something. Like, if I won the lotto today, I won't even sleep no more to mm, dream. Mm, mm, if mm. I won, if I won that three hundred something million you lotto that just today, did, Danny, I wouldn't even nap. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not. So that's no not. No more naps. <laughs> so that's no not. No more sleep. So how strong is your dream for real? It ain't that strong. <laughs> you can't I this is you why when you I don't that believe what they're saying. Because I, that's this is not why I don't believe y'all. No, I don't. But, no. but the thing is, I, that's, I don't agree because I don't let men with money go. That was giving me hella bread. Okay. You had What did you provide, provide for them? The it doesn't matter what I provide for them. Exactly. Money. You are not living with them. They were giving me money, but I was still able to walk away from that money, though. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Everyone's differently. No, 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 no. Hold on. This is my point, right? You said they were giving you bread. They were giving me money, yes. What did you provide for them? Love. Satisfaction. <laughs> Saturn between your legs. Listen. Your legs. Okay, where are they now? <laughs> but the thing is, I walked away. Ex I walk away. Exactly, right? Because there because was no he sick gave interest. You curfew, sis. Huh? Right, right. There, there was no real interest. What do you mean there was no real interest? There was no interest. If there was interest, he would be here now. He, there's no interest. Baby, he yeah, gave you that so so There's no interest. So you're saying she would stay This is a person that you are interested in, right? That you care about, you love, and they're giving you all the financial and emotional stability that you need. You're going to do everything that you need to do because they're giving you the financial and emotional stability you know that you need. So y'all telling me that, oh, no, I don't know that. It's cap. It's B. It's cap. I never had curfew in my life. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I never had a curfew in my life. In my life, I, I, my father never gave me a curfew. That's your father. All I hear is control. Yeah, it's, that's a control. A man that's not going to give you a whole lot of time. I'm your daddy, daddy now. now. That's how he's going to act. That's I'm that's your daddy that's now. That's Who's see. daddy? I'm paying the bills. I'm daddy. I never had curfew, all I I I never had curfew in my life, so for me, that's kind of weird. That's all I hear. That's all I see. It's control. I'm sorry, but I'm not a person who you can control. Yeah, that's not happening. That's the thing. I can love you from God, from sun to sundown, from the morning back. You can sit here, provide for me financially, do everything you need to do, take care, take care of me, all of that. But what you're not going to do is control. is control me because guess what? How it look, just like how I asked the question, can y'all get a curfew? Just because you give me money, you are financially well established and we're like, do you have a curfew? My mm. whole Does thing that is, curfew established for you? Because guess what? It don't. Vix, My whole could, thing if is, I'm giving you everything and providing you with everything, it goes both ways. I but, come home whenever I damn well please. Ask shut up. But my whole thing is, no, it's, 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 it's not going to not even please. come home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, and if you think it's okay, <laughs> Of course it's okay. You know why it's okay? I'm going okay? to tell you why it's okay. I'm going to tell you why it's okay. Let me right? say this. When you, uh, when, when you, when you do not provide anything, then you can't it's make control. any moves. But you can't get mad at me when I say no, I'm not doing it. You're ex not controlling ex me. Exactly. But so that means I you're not going to oblige by the rules. I'm not doing it. Exactly. That's, not, that's what I'm saying. But you're saying it's cap. Hey, what I just said to you. You mean to tell me just because you're supporting me to kid, you're doing everything a female wants. You think it's okay to come tell me, but oh, Vixen, I want you home, home by 9 p.m.? Absolutely. Can I say, can okay, I say, then can you I know what? Then, baby, I want you home let, by 9 o'clock too. Are you, you providing what he's providing? But I'm doing everything else. Okay. You're not providing what they're providing. Oh, I'm not, let me I'm tell you not, something. I'm not providing you a clean house. Let me say something, right? I'm not providing you food. Your boss. I'm not providing you clean your house. Your boss. Tell me. Your boss, right? Bro, your your I boss. I somebody for that. Okay. Okay. You're that supposed to. If I'm paying on the bill, you're what? supposed to do what? my laundry. So you're, you're supposed to clean. Watch this. Watch this. You're supposed to be home at 9 o'clock. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Right? If I'm paying everything, right, respectfully, and don't don't be mad at me. This is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm paying for your rent. I'm paying for, excuse me, I'm paying for the mortgage. I'm paying for the car I should drive. I'm paying for insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for the food on the table. I'm paying for the clothes on your back and on my back. Anything I say goes in that house, respectfully. Oh, you know why? Let me show you, give me an example. Let me give you an example, right? Watch this, watch this, right? Watch this. You go to work in the morning. I go to work in the morning. You go to work in the morning, right? You, 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 you don't have a nine to five, Danny, right? Mm -hmm. Every one of us, has someone we have to report to. That person that we have to report to is makes the rules and obligations of but things that we have to, hold on, hold on, hold on, that we have to do every day we clock in. So that's a the minute, Hold on, hold on. The minute you clock in to work, the minute you clock in to work, 
you are now on the time clock and your responsibilities has to be done in a timely fashion. But can Why? I hold on, hold on, hold on. Why? Because, <laughs> hold on, right? Why? Because that agency you just clocked into, right? That agency you clocked into is paying your bills. Okay, but... Right? So anything that they say or do, you agree to do All right. during that 9 to 5, 8 to 4, 7 to 3, 3 to 11 time slot, you got to do it. You know why? Because they are taking care of your bills. Okay, but let me say this, though. This is the same like, thing that's let happening. Me, let me just say this. I'm taking okay, care of your okay, bills. Okay, 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 so so whatever I say okay, okay, that you it, need to it. do, okay, when chill. you want to oblige by these rules, you're okay, going to do it. But because I'm paying the bills. Okay, can I, I say that one thing? Oh. My whole thing is, my whole thing is, my own thing is trying to control me is crazy mm -hmm. because I can barely control myself. But somebody said in the comment, no man want a woman that they cannot control. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. But that's weird. Why would you want to control Do a you woman? Not and why you think all these black men got married white women? Why you think they married Spanish women? Because they're easier to control because they're submissive. Black women are not submissive. We told back. Yeah, when I when we I'm at a, when I'm at when I'm that's at a infinite. certain when I'm at a certain tax bracket. Do you control your woman? I'm not at that tax bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm keeping it real. It's a different conversation when I'm in a different kind of tax bracket. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm not going to control you, but... Like, I feel like, but why do men want to... Okay, if you love somebody, what I right? say goes. If you love somebody, why do you want kind to control fear. them? Why do men want to control women for them to feel love? Because for them the to only, feel power. I don't, I don't, I don't, sound like I don't look at it control. as controlling. It is controlling. I, I, listen, listen. Tell I, me what to do, what to wear, what time to come home. That's controlling. I look at I look at certain things as guidance, right? As guidance? Guidance? Listen, guidance? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Men swear they could guide I look, you. Where? I, I, I look at I certain things. I can't even guide yourself without a time. Right? In certain key elements, in certain key elements, Case in point, I look Jamie at it Green. as guidance. Huh? He don't, come on, he's a kid. No, 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 no. Hear what she just said. Uh -huh. That you men cannot guide yourselves at point in time. Case in point. He's not a man yet, bro. He's still 12. Yeah. He's not a he man. He still can't guide exactly. himself. Of course he can't guide himself. And I'm saying, there goes to the man. It's, not, it's, it's not my fault. It's 400 years of slavery that right. made me this way. <laughs> Let me tell you something, right? Let me tell you something. When it comes to <laughs> guidance... <laughs> when it comes to guidance, it, it, when it comes to guidance, it all depends on the I, relationship. I think men want to control women because that make them feel like a man. I yeah, they, that makes they them don't feel like a man. Don't, because they don't it makes have them feel great when work. they come home. The but food is ready. It makes control, them feel great but when they're about the to thing. go out. Their woman is staying at home. That's it no fun. Y'all want that though. Y'all only want to control no women. Y'all only want to control women because no that makes y'all feel like a man. It makes y'all feelings feel big. Respectfully, respectfully, y'all want us to control y'all. No. Yes. You know why? You know why? Because when we don't control y'all, when we don't step up to the plate, what do they say? You're not being a man. You're not acting like the man I need you to be. You're not taking but responsibility. But that doesn't mean that, so the thing does is that not tell you, you to want control us me. to control you. That you want us to, to take charge. Me. Yes, I'm you do. No, 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 no. Yes, y'all do. You want us to take charge. I want the man to take charge. And I'm not gonna lie. You're not controlling me. You're not telling me what I can and cannot do. You can't tell me when I'm coming home. I can't tell a man to tell me what to do because I know if you can tell me what to do, we're gonna end it on this. You gotta be a strong man. We're gonna end it on this. Jill Scott said it best. If you can't tell me what to do, you. You, you can't, can't be tell my me man. What to do. Like, I, but I feel like if you can't tell me what to do, you can't be my man. Because if you can't tell me what to do, that means I can tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. That means I'm in control. And I don't want to control no man. There you go. I really right. don't want there to control you go. No man. You there you go. There you go. I'm just saying. There you go. I was with you until you said that. No. I